Hello YouTube, this is Crazy Cool New Yorker coming at you today. And uh, as you can see, I'm out and about. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, no traffic, plenty of scenery. I'm actually just waking my, working my way back down from Hudson, New York. I went out to the uh, waterway out there. It's a beautiful little community on the Hudson River. And uh, they have very like Victorian style homes and it's just nice. So I went out there and hung out a little and then I'm making my way back home. No rush. The uh, reason why I'm talking to you today was uh, this past weekend I was talking to a friend who um, he was watching my channel on, on YouTube and he said, uh, hey Kay, how come you never talk about any like political stuff? You know, I see you you know, you have your Google page and you have your YouTube page. And I was like, well, you know, you to have a YouTube page, you gotta have a, uh, a Google page, they're, they're together. And it's like, yeah, but you know, you should uh, maybe tackle some stuff that you see going on today. You know, you know you, you're pretty informative and stuff like that. And, uh, and I said, you know, I know where he was trying to go with it. And I was like, you know, uh, not really. I don't want to talk about anything political. I like keeping my materials simple, engaging, happy, uh, to provoke conversation. Not saying me talking about anything political is going and, and, and you know promote some good topic, but that's not why I started my channel. I don't want to get up there and talk about who's running for this and uh, what's going on with the police department or our mayor or the kids or I mean yes it affects everybody but that's not what I want my channel to be so it's like but look how many people subscribe to you like your Google page has so many viewers I was like ah uh, well that doesn't mean I want to you know put that type of topic out there that type of issue I just want to be positive and, it, and it's not me running away from anything I just like talking about stuff that's not always controversial if it's funny then I'll talk about it you know if it if it takes you away from your daily grind and it makes you relax a little then I'll talk about it but if it's something that is stir up through emotions and you know next thing you know everybody's arguing on uh, YouTube sending emails that just messages that just you know, could spark a, 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 a riot or something. That's not me. I don't want to do that. And he was like, well, if that was me, I'll do it. I was like, we'll start the channel. You know, it's free. YouTube doesn't charge anybody to create their, their channel. And um, just do what you need to do. I said, I'll subscribe to you. I said, I won't, you know, be walking around talking about it too much. You know, I'm not going to sit there and go back and forth on you in your videos because when I watch people with videos I'm trying to relieve my daily stress at the job and if a little bit comes home then I look at the road I look at what you guys are doing and I travel and use my imagination pretending I'm riding along with you guys but the last thing I want to do is get up there and uh, talk about Trump or you know or Bloomberg what does he think or, or Giuliani or any other political figures that happen to pop up in today's New York Daily News or Post this week you know those guys are mayors of the past I don't want to talk about them and that's it uh, so well you know he he was a little disappointed you know, he said he's going to start his, which I encourage him to do. You know, if he says something really good, I'll watch it. Um, but, you know, that's not where I want to go. That's not where I want to go. This guy looked like he was ready to fly out. I just want to enjoy conversation. You know, even at work, like I said, my work, 
uh, can be, get a little crazy at times. I don't need to talk about political stuff at the job. I don't need to do all that stuff. We live and breathe and eat it every day. It's rammed down our throats. As soon as you turn on the TV, there's something going on. I don't need to talk about it at work. I don't need to talk about it on my YouTube page. My wife will talk about it a little and then we'll move on. Of course, at the job you talk about it a little and then you move on, but it doesn't need to come up, you know. And the, the thing is, is, and I told him this, I says, once you put it out there, it stays out there. Even if you delete it, somebody may download it, they may do something and bring it back to haunt you years later. I said, this, so that's not what I want. And he's like, well, you know, you ain't running for no author. Today I'm not. But who knows, like, you know, when I retire and I leave this beautiful state of New York and I go somewhere else, maybe I do want to run for a political position. I don't know. You know, it depends on what the stars have lined up for me. But the last thing I would hate is something I said 10, 15, 20 years ago to come back and, uh, and bite me, making it so I cannot get into a seat or position that I want to something really to do where to me it was positive like if I went for a political position like if I'm going for mayor or a little town or part of the board I plan on getting on that board and doing some positive stuff for the community I'm not getting on there just to say hey I'm on the board I want to do positive stuff that's what I'm about I like helping people I like being positive and I would not want a video of me when I was a teenager or in my 20s or 30s of me just being angry and somebody recording it and me saying something stupid and it disrupts the chance of me getting into a position that could help others so that's why I really don't do it I mean it's just not me it's not who I am for the guys out there that do it that's fine that's who you are I'm not uh, saying anything is wrong with it I some of you guys I watch you know you, sometimes you do have some interesting stuff to say and I'll show my wife and then we may have a conversation on it but most of the time I, I'm i just trying to laugh you know we're both just trying to leave that work behind and deal with our son and, and make him prepare him for tomorrow's world the best that we can because we don't know what's going to be for tomorrow I mean we're trying to use examples of today to prepare him for tomorrow hopefully it works and, you know he's a, a, a promising uh, person and who inspires others and who is a very influential person and it doesn't have to be in the world it could be in someone's life it, you know he could be a great dad he can be a great teacher he can be a great preacher he, you know whatever he choose as long as it's something positive that's what we really care about you know, if he happens to be rich, that's a plus. If he doesn't, that's still a plus. That's my son. I love him no matter what. So, so to my buddy who wanted me to do a little political stuff, you know, to spark a little, uh, you know, political action, nah. I mean, I don't even do that when I'm not on YouTube. So I'm not going to do it when I'm on YouTube. So I'm going to sign off. You know, I'm making my way back home. And uh, you guys be safe. And as always, ride what you love and love what you ride. Thank you.